Hello, Professor Toybox here, along with Officer Judy Hops of the ZPD, and today we're going to continue our build for my Gravity Falls Toy Box. This is going to be a little bit shorter video today. My phone is on the brink of death, and I use this phone to record my voice for my videos. I've had it for nearly seven years, which is a pretty long time for a phone, but the battery just isn't holding a charge anymore and I have to keep plugging it in while I record, and that's added an annoying buzzing sound in the background of my recent audio recordings. Some of you may have noticed that. So between that and the fact that I can't carry my phone around with me for very long in my pocket before it runs out of juice, I'm going to be replacing my phone tomorrow, and I'm not sure yet how long it's going to take me to get set up with my new phone, so I may or may not be able to record an episode of Toy Box Racing for Friday, this might be my last episode for the week until I get back up and running again. But anyway, I'm going to keep this video short for today because I need to back up my phone and get ready for the new one. So today I'm just going to finish putting down the rest of the terrain that I wasn't able to put down in the previous episode because I ran out of time. And we're going to start today just by moving this little start pad out of the way. And I'm going to drop it off over here. There's no hills over there, so that shouldn't be a problem. And then we'll go ahead and start putting down the terrain. And I'm going to begin over here on this corner. We're going to line this up with the racetrack piece there. Again, the curve of this fits that perfectly. So we're going to drop that down and line this up a little bit quicker that way. And then we'll come over here and put one down on this end. I'm just kind of building an interesting little canyon out here. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to come over and I think it's the largest curve that we need that has to sit in here like this. Yep, that follows the curve of that road. So that one needs to sit in there like that. And then let's go ahead and pick up uh, one of these large pieces below and put it down just to get us back in that part of the drawer. And I think this is the piece we need. This is going to sit in here just like this. We're just going to kind of fit in some hills around here a little bit just to make this uh, look a little bit more finished. So this can sit on here like that. And then I want to fill this whole thing with curves because according to the, uh, or with blocks, because according to the map this was filled with trees. But this is just kind of a nice finishing edge for this end of the toy box. And so we're going to drop that down, put a couple of these over here, like so, and then pick up another curve, and I think it's the small one we need this time, which will fit right in here like that. So we're just kind of building a nice uh, raised area here that the uh, player can explore. And, uh, yeah, then we'll drop this one down. Kind of close this off a little bit over here. And, um, let me see. Alright, let's go ahead then and pick up... Sorry about the delay, I was looking at my screenshot. I'm going to pick this piece up. We're going to bring this over. And I'm going to sit this out here, I think, about like that, just for right now. I'm going to need to fit in some of these small ones in here to plug this gap. So let's do that first. Like that. Come around, and then we're going to put down two across here like that. And then this large piece will fit in 
there. Okay. Now, I wanted to include the big footprint, and we have that block up under Building Sets Group 7. If you've unlocked it, it's up here. Gravity Falls Giant Footprint. And we're going to go ahead and drop a couple of these up here. Just like this. This is about the best place I could think to incorporate these. Our map that we looked at last time didn't really show where you would find this. It didn't show it on the map. So uh, I just decided to put mine up here. And we'll go ahead and fit a couple of terrain blocks around this. And we'll cover up some of these seams later with some blocks. But for right now, that will work. And then we'll pick this piece up and put it down to get back to that part of the drawer. And go ahead and close off this end of the canyon like that. So that fits in there pretty nicely. And we'll put the small canyon curve right here on the end like this. And I think that leaves us enough room to put a second one of these in here. Yep, just like so. Okay, and that uh, creates a nice little area to explore and then I want to provide a way for the player to get up there. And so we're going to come over here and pick up this uh, ramp again. We'll put another one of these down. Since I'm already using this piece, it doesn't cost any extra memory. But if I try to use another kind of ramp in here, that'll add to the memory usage. There. So that gives us a way to get up onto this platform. And then we're going to add some wood stuff up here later. And then I want to provide a way to get over to this other peak over here. And so we're going to go ahead and add a bridge. And the piece that works pretty well for that, we come over to the left, is this one right here, this grassy bridge. So I'm going to drop this down onto the surface of this. And we're going to put this over here. And I kind of had a way to do this where it didn't look too bad. Let me see. I want to slide this back a little and over like this. And actually, it's a little too far back. That looks pretty good. That's where I had it originally. Yeah. So this little corner of the thing over here and this little corner over there stick out a little bit. But it's not too terribly noticeable. Um, and when you're racing, you're driving through this direction. And so it looks a little bit more awkward when you look at it from the back, but most of the time the player is not going to see it from that direction. All right, and there is what we've got. So we've got our lake over there. We've got some hills over here to add some interest on this end of the toy box. And at this point, I think we've finished all of the terrain. So I'm going to go ahead and stop at this point so I can download this recording off of my phone and start backing it up. In the meantime, I want to thank you for watching. I'm not sure yet when my next episode will be, but I'll be back as soon as I can, and then we'll start building the area around the Mystery Shack. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I encourage you to do that so you'll know when my videos resume. Enjoy the rest of your week, and have a great weekend!